welcome to buy my story today we're going to share the story of anita anita is a ms warrior who got diagnosed with ms in 2020 during the pandemic and she had to do deal with all the diagnosis and everything all by herself she's a strong ms warrior who says that you should not be ashamed of your disease and you do not have to justify anyone that you have an illness and be yourself and be strong and keep moving forward to positive so positive and so brave of her so let us hear the story of anita thank you hey there fellow ms warriors my name is anita and i am wanting to share my ms story so i was diagnosed in september 2020 uh, about a year and a half well over a year and a half ago and uh, i was diagnosed pretty quickly i feel very lucky in that sense that when i went to the er it was because i had a fall and i also lost vision in this right eye and so it was very worrying and troublesome so i went to the er and i was lucky that the er doctor suspected something neurological right away and so she consulted with a neurologist that was on call at the time and after talking to that neurologist she came back to me and told me that they suspected ms multiple sclerosis and it was very devastating to hear it was very hard for me to hear and uh, what made it worse is at the time i was diagnosed was during the well when i was at the er i was all alone because it was during the height of the covid pandemic and i wasn't allowed to have anybody with me so that was really hard and I was getting devastating, life-changing news, and I had to deal with it by myself. So that was terrible for me. I was lucky in the sense, though, that from the time I started showing symptoms to diagnosis was very, very quick. I was admitted straight away from the ER to the hospital. I stayed in the hospital for about a week and was given some medicine to help with my vision and given some tests, medical imaging, blood tests, things of that nature. And the confirmed diagnosis of MS while I was in hospital. I feel fortunate again that I was diagnosed so quickly because I know some people wait so long for answers and I can't imagine that feeling. Um, so I'm lucky in that sense. I am also lucky in the sense that at the time I was diagnosed, my office had transitioned to remote working. So because of the COVID pandemic, I was working from home already at the time. So I didn't really have to worry about uh, work. I did take some time off obviously because I was having some pretty severe issues cognitively um, and mobility issues vision issues, uh, tremors, things of that nature. So I did take some time off, but uh, when I was back at work, it was remotely. And so I felt blessed in that sense as well. Some of the bad things about MS, the thief that it is, is it took away some of the things I love most. And before my diagnosis, I was super active, very, very fit. And MS stole that from me for a while it still still is a thief of those things for me and uh, i do some of the things that i used to before but not at the level that i was before unfortunately um and the covid pandemic uh, in addition to my ms diagnosis put a damper on the ability to go to the gym and i'm a huge fan of mixed martial arts and I go to a uh, MMA gym and train and uh, because of my diagnosis I couldn't do that and also the COVID pandemic put 
pretty severe restrictions on gyms in my area for a very long time. So MS stole that from me and uh, physical activity is my outlet, how I deal with stress and uh, it's just the time I take for myself. So I haven't been able to do that as much as I would like to, which makes me really sad and is very upsetting. Um, now I'm feeling a little bit better, so I am back at the gym, but again, not like I was. I do have days where MS just kicks my ass. I can't figure out a better way to say it. It does kick my butt some days, and not every day, not all day, but every day I do face some kind of struggle, struggle and... Uh, I just want to tell all those MS warriors out there that never give up hope because we can do things. We can still try and be who we were. It's just a new version of us. So I still go to the gym when I am feeling well and I do also keep a close eye on the COVID numbers in my area just because I don't want to put myself at risk when the numbers are high because I am immunocompromised because of the medication that I take. But I just want to share the message, like don't give up hope, you can be you, just an altered version. I, although I can't go and train at the gym that I love shout out to factory X because all of the coaches there are amazing and they always uh, they know my diagnosis so they're very patient with me and it's pretty cool but at the same time they do try and push me and those two things are you know their understanding while at the same time pushing me is sometimes what I need, honestly. I need that, uh, that helps with my mobility. Uh, I do have mobility issues. Sometimes I need to use a cane, but like I said, when I feel well, I am at the gym. And when I feel well and the COVID numbers are cooperating, I do go train at the gym there. And uh, I do okay sometimes. Sometimes I get my butt kicked by other people at the gym, but sometimes sometimes i do the butt kicking so that makes me feel good that i'm not completely different than i was before this diagnosis and so i just want to say keep the hope up again i can't emphasize that enough don't give up keep fighting and i will keep fighting and uh, i won't let this beat me i mean it changes who i am it changes the way i approach certain things from my personal life to my work life it changes everything but i can deal with those changes and push forward and also don't feel the need to explain yourself to anybody i sometimes feel embarrassed still that I need a mobility aid at times. I need to walk with my cane for balance issues and uh, my left side is a little weak. Sometimes that's worse than others. So I do use a cane on occasion and I get some weird looks. I don't know why, or maybe it's just in my head, but I'm very self-conscious about it. And I remind myself that I don't need to explain why I have a cane. And I don't need to explain why I'm parked in a handicapped spot. I have mobility issues. And though they're not very bad sometimes, sometimes they are. And I need to be parked close to the place where I'm trying to get in. And uh, I need it to be more accessible. And I get a lot of side eye. People giving me side eye because I'm using that handicap placard or disability placard to park in a disability or a disabled space. But I just try to remind myself, I don't owe anyone an explanation. I don't need to prove that I'm sick to anyone. And just because I look okay, doesn't mean that I am. I have issues and it's an invisible illness sometimes and people don't understand that. So don't feel the need to explain yourself to anyone and 
now I'm just rambling, but I face issues every day, just like you fellow MS warriors, and uh, stay strong. And Thank you for listening to my story.